Hello friends, today we are going to see how to reverse a doubly linked list. So let's see. So this is the linked list. Every node in this linked list has two pointers and those two pointers are a next pointer and a previous pointer. So this is the structure of the node means the data one is the next pointer and another is the previous pointer. So now we have to reverse this linked list means currently the next pointer of each node is pointing to the next node means the node A means the node which holds the data A points to the node which holds the data B. Then the node B points to the node C. Then the node C points to the node D and the node D points to node E. After we reverse, these next pointers will be reversed. Means node E will point to node D, then node D will point to C, then C will point to B and B will point to A. So the doubly linked list will be E, D, C, B, A. Okay. So let's see how to do this with program. Okay. So, so see, this is the block of the code. So we use while loop to trace this linked list. And as you know, the head of the linked list is node A. So at first, the current pointer will point to the head node. Okay. So the head node will be assigned to the current pointer. Okay. So means the current pointer will point to the head node. So while current is not equal to null, means current will trace the whole linked list till it becomes null. So we go inside the while loop. So just see the steps now. See temp equal to current points previous means we have to store the previous node of current node in pointer temp. So see what is the previous node of current node? It is null. So temp will point to this node which is null. Okay. Now as temp is holding the address of the previous node, now we can change this link, this previous link. So how do we change this link? See, current points previous equal to current points next means to the previous link, we assign the next node. So this previous link will point to the next node. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Next step is here. Current points next equal to temp means temp will be assigned to the next pointer of current node. So see, this is the current node and this is the next pointer of current node. So this will be assigned to temp. Okay, see, this is the next pointer and the dotted pointer is the previous pointer right so now you can see how this has been reversed see the previous pointer points to the next node and the next pointer points to the previous node okay now let's go to the next node with current equal to current points previous so as you know that b is the next node to be processed but now b is pointed by the previous pointer of current node. Okay. So current equal to current points previous means we will move to the node B with the statement current equal to current points previous. Right. Now let's repeat this procedure for node B. See again first step is temp equal to current points previous. So now temp node or the temp pointer will be pointed to the previous node of current means the previous node of B. What is the previous node of B? That is A. So temp will point to A and let's go to the next step. See current points previous equal to current points next means the previous link will point to the next node right and the next link 
in the next step the next link will point to the previous means the temp which holds the address of previous so the next link will point to the previous see okay and we go to the node c with this statement current equal to current points previous so the current pointer moves to the next node that is c okay now as you know the steps the first step is temp points to the previous node then what is the second step second step is the previous link of the current node will point to the next node okay that is the second step then what is the third step the next link of the node will point to temp means the previous node okay the previous node and what is the fourth step go to the next node but now that next node is pointed by the previous link of the current node so current equal to current points previous means we go to the node d okay now again repeat the steps temp will point to the previous node and the previous link of the current node will point to the next node okay and the next link of the current node will point to the previous node means temp okay and we go to the next node with previous pointer means current equal to current points previous and now for the node e let's follow the procedure c first temp will point to the previous node of e then the previous link will point to the next node and the next link will point to the previous node that is temp and current will go to the next node so current equal to current points previous means here so now current becomes null okay so while current is not equal to null but now current is equal to null so this condition is not satisfied and we come out of the loop so this is the end of this while loop and after we come out of this while loop see the new head of the link list is the node e and currently the pointer temp is pointing to d so i will say temp equal to temp points previous okay temp equal to temp points previous so temp will point to node e now okay in this case so temp equal to temp points previous and this statement will make temp as the new head new head of the reversed doubly linked list okay now see if temp is the head then trace the linked list c e points next to d then d points next to c then c points next to b b points next to a and a points next to null so in this way this doubly linked list is reversed but this statement has some conditions okay just imagine if the linked list has only one node it has only one node next pointer and the previous pointer okay and they point to null so in this case if current node is pointing to a then temp will point to null okay temp will point to the previous node of current so that is null right see the steps the first step is temp equal to current points previous means temp is pointing to the previous node of current then current points previous equal to current points next means the previous link will point to the next node so that is null so the previous link will point to null and the next link will point to temp so that is null after all this happens the fourth step current equal to current points previous so current becomes null 
this is for single node linked list okay this is the single node linked list now current is pointing to null so after we go to the next iteration of while loop current has become null okay so as current is null we come out and then we do temp equal to temp points previous but here temp is null so it will give an exception this will be an error okay because null equal to null points previous this cannot be happening so this will give error so we have to put a if condition here and that if condition is if temp is not null if temp is not null then temp equal to temp points previous and we declare temp as the new head in this case but in such case this will not work okay so before this block before starting of this block you have to check whether this linked list is only a single node linked list or not so if current points next is equal to equal to null at the start then that means this is a node which holds only a single node so there is no need to reverse that and an another case is a null linked list means there is no node in the linked list means there is zero nodes there are zero nodes in the linked list in that case also you can check if current equal to equal to null okay so first check current equal to equal to null and then check current points next equal to equal to null okay so first this statement and after that this statement at the second line so this is the way we reverse a doubly linked list hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you